Tom Morley here from FOSS 365 with another video tutorial on the Natron application. We'll continue the intro to compositing with the Natron application series with this video. But before we jump into it, we need to talk about compositing and what it is. Compositing is the combining of visual elements from separate sources into single images and these images usually give the illusion that they're all part of the same scene. So this is the very basics of compositing and I encourage you if you have some free time to read the rest of this article here on Wikipedia on compositing. Now we also need to talk about the red, green, blue color spaces of an image and we need to realize that an image is created by combining values of red, green, and blue. And we benefit from an alpha channel. The alpha channel is used to create opacity for an image. If the alpha channel has a value of zero, then it is fully transparent. If it's got a value of 100, then the alpha channel is fully opaque. That is, you can't see through it. So we're going to need a couple of images also to use in this tutorial. So go to openclipart.org and in this website we'll do a search for CC0 Beach to get our background scene. And there's a beach sunset. Looks pretty good to me. Download it. Save that file. Back up to CC0 and type in pirate and there is a pirate ship and we will download that one save that file so now we have a beach and a pirate ship to use so done with the browser I believe and now I will bring over my file menu we have the two images. You're going to have to put those two images in your project folder wherever you created that. Cut them from here and I have already created a project folder. I'm going to go to Projects Natron and it's in the Production Compositing Project Folder. That's a mouthful. And I'm going to paste them in here. Okay, so here is my beach scene. And that's going to be a nice, lovely background for us to use. And we want to composite or put our ship over the top of that. Now let's take a look at this ship SVG file. And you can see the alpha channel here. So the alpha channel where it is zero, you can see the checkered background. So anywhere our alpha channel is zero, it's completely see-through, like it's glass, and you can see the checkered background behind it. Any value other than zero would give you different values of transparency. So you don't see any kind of half see-through sails or anything in the pirate ship. You just see the pirate ship. So that tells me that all of the alpha values where you see the colors for the ship must be one. That is, it's totally opaque. You can't see through it. And it's a zero where you see the checkerboards. So that's kind of just a little bit of information for you. Minimize that. And at this point, I think we can start up Natron. I think I'm going to keep it there. I have my key monitor down here so you can see what I'm doing. Back up my file manager. Now that you have Natron open, you're going to want to, and it's important, drag over your um, beach background SVG image first. So you're going to bring that over and you're going to drop it in here. It will automatically be connected to the viewer. Now the reason why it's important is because look at the resolution of this image. It's 2400 by 1500. And that's going to automatically set the output format of our project settings. Okay, we'll change that maybe in a later video, but for now we're just going to leave it at 2400 by 1500 because this video is just about compositing. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my folder and I'm going to grab my ship scene, ship clip art, and put it 
over my viewer for some reason. I don't know why. But now I have my beach background, and if I click on my ship and press the number one key, it puts the pipe in that. So I've got ship in my background. Now I need some way to merge these two together, right? Well, Natron's got a merge node, and the easiest way to use the merge node is to highlight the image that you would like to merge over a background. So I'm highlighting my ship, and I'm going to press the M key to create a new merge node. And you'll see that that ship is now connected to the merge node using the A pipe. And that's exactly what we need. Now I'm going to bring the B pipe and drag it over to the beach scene. And I'm going to take my viewer node and I'm going to connect it to my merge node. And you'll see automatically that what happens here is I have created a merge over using the ship over the background. So that's all well and good, but I would really like that ship over here in between the sun and the island. Well, we can do that pretty easy by using a transform node. So let's highlight the ship, press T for transform to create a transform node, and it creates a transform node for us. Now I have this little cursor thing that I can grab and I can move that ship over kind of in between the sun and the island here. So this was just a quick tutorial on how you can use the merge node to merge two different images and make them look like they are one image. In the next video, we'll talk about how to animate this ship and also create some text so that we could have a type of intro for maybe a movie. I'll see you in the next one.